How did Red Bull manage to dominate the 2023 F1 racing season? Now that's a question that has been on everyone's lips. The answer lies in a fantastic car that demonstrated very few limits throughout the season. The new regulatory framework was a golden opportunity for all teams, a monumental shift allowing designers to unleash their fantastic technical expertise. And who better to take full advantage of this opportunity than the mastermind of Red Bull's engineering team, Adrian Newey. He's no stranger to the game with a track record of designing winning cars. Newey's decision to significantly modify the chassis, coupled with his further reshaping of the front section, set Red Bull apart from the competition. The result? A car that was not just fast, but consistently so. It's clear that in the 2023 F1 racing season, Adrian Newey's engineering prowess once again made a significant difference. What significant modification did Red Bull make to their chassis that set them apart? Well, Adrian Newey, the mastermind behind Red Bull's success, decided to further reshape the front section of the chassis. This was not a new idea, as the RB18, the predecessor, also featured a narrowed lower section, giving it a distinctive V shape. This unique approach, previously implemented on the McLaren MP413 back in 1998 and the Red Bull RB5 in 2009, is not just about aesthetics, it serves a practical purpose. The more pronounced V section allows for a greater volume of airflow, increasing the efficiency of the channels in the floor. Additionally, this design limits aerodynamic losses by reducing the risk of encountering a separation of flows in the lower part of the chassis. The slimmed down lower part of the chassis brings added advantages, such as an increase in static pressure that adds power to the vortex, resulting in an enhanced outwash. The slimmed down chassis brought additional advantages that set Red Bull apart. What can Ferrari learn from Red Bull's success? Ferrari has been paying close attention to Red Bull's triumphs, specifically examining the front end of their car, a known weak spot in the SEF 23 model. It's clear that a redesign inspired by Red Bull could provide Ferrari with a much needed boost. Red Bull's unique slimmed down chassis design with its pronounced V section allows for efficient airflow and increased volume in the lower part of the car. This offers a significant advantage, boosting static pressure and enhancing the power of the outwash vortex. Ferrari's exploration of this design concept could lead to a significant improvement in their own performance. By adopting a similar front wing design, they could increase the technical flexibility of their next season's car, Project 676. This could widen the car's operating window and correct the lack of ride that hampered the SF23. A redesign inspired by Red Bull could be beneficial for Ferrari. What can we expect from Red Bull and Ferrari in the 2024 season? That's the question on everyone's lips. Ferrari and other teams may well consider a redesign of their traditionally square chassis, inspired by Red Bull's slimmed down version that dominated last season. But it's a delicate balance. 2024 will be the first season with an undercut of volumetric dimensions comparable to Red Bull's, making any drastic changes a risky move. Meanwhile, Red Bull isn't resting on its laurels. Recent developments suggest they're working diligently to refine their car, which is clearly shown by failing the FIA's stiffness tests for the chassis. This tells us that we should once again anticipate something innovative from Adrian Newey's team, pushing the boundaries of Formula One design yet again. We look forward to seeing the innovations that the 2024 season will bring, and whether Ferrari has learned from their analysis of Red Bull's success.